We are proud to present our Spring 2014 exhibition, Living in Past and Present, Art as a Means to Express Peace and Security. Art cannot be defined simply as objectified aestheticism, rather it embalms the social and political issues of its time. When viewers respond to the emotive qualities of art and the actions of the artist, past social and political constraints are ignited within them. In this way, ideals of peace and security that once lived in history resurface within the present viewer. The first artwork on exhibit was created by world-renowned American pop artist James Rosenquist. He uses popular comic book imagery and highly saturated, vibrant colors to highlight America's worrisome and ironic relationship with war and mass consumption. This 86 foot long oil on canvas captures the rapid progression and in his mind, ultimate destruction of a capitalist, materialist America. <laughs> Hammond's central message in Higher Goals is that education is the source of all emancipation and freedom, leading unavoidably to peace and security. The dream of becoming a professional NBA player is like, in his opinion, chasing shadows on a wall for most African-American kids. He suggests, through his use of obscenely high basketball groups, that these children should rather focus on obtaining an education instead of reaching for unattainable goals in the world of sports. The character in Edvard Munch's The Scream acts as a symbol of pain and loneliness in a modern society when no one is alone, when everyone feels alone. The Scream is a cry for help and attention. It is disturbing because it reflects a reality we don't want to see, a turbulent world of conflict and despair we don't want to face. By fully expressing such emotions, the Scream becomes cathartic, and Munch invites the viewer to share this freedom at the price of experiencing his own angst. Anselm Kiefer's To the Unknown Painter is a powerful display of intense violence and atrocity. The abstract expressionist conveys in his work the painful memories of Nazi Germany crimes. His use of harsh color and raw materials, like latex and straw to create texture, add to the overall emotive quality of the piece. This tribute to the censored German artist abstractly acts as a warning against violence and discrimination for future generations. In this exotic Garden of Eden, the French post-impressionist Paul Gauguin provides the viewer with a remedy for the scream symptom. The artist suggests that peace comes with a return to a certain simplicity of life and a respect of nature and its inhabitants. The value of this artwork lies in its composition, which suggests an almost cyclical eternity of life through the ages. It illustrates a luxurious nature whose almost naked inhabitants demonstrate the value of being over having. Surrealist Man Ray created the gift, a clothing iron with world attacks down its center. He does this to dislocate normality with dreamlike possibility. This piece instills ideas of violence, pain, and sex within the viewer while prompting their questioning of reality. Katie Kollwitz debunked the social elite in war. Instead, her sympathies lied with the poor working class and woman to whom she greatly related. Never Again War is a sharp statement against the horrors of combat, one which, given her reputation and choice of medium, would have circulated to all audiences, not just the bourgeois. Like many people at the time, Picasso was infuriated by war. In response, he created Guernica, a climatic scene made up of both cubist and surrealist motifs. However, unlike other artists who shared his anger, Picasso used sexual innuendos to display his outrage, placing a clear target on the backs of fascism and women alike. Francis Bacon was burdened with severe depression and detachment, and as a result, creates pieces that embody a frightening mental conflict. 
This image depicts Pope Innocent X's mouth sprawled open and framed by masticated beef as if wanting to consume the viewer. Melvin Edwards' lynch fragments are made of chains, horseshoes, and chunks of sharpened, warped brown metal. It serves as an autobiographical and social piece that captures the violence and oppression both Edwards and other African Americans faced at the time. The purpose of this exhibition is to provide the viewer with artworks that embalm concepts of peace, security, and conflict from the past, whether they're personal, political, or social. What makes this exhibit living and infinite, as the title suggests, is its transcendence of these concepts to the modern viewer, who carries revived emotions into the present world through their actions and words, thus continuing to spread the messages and histories of the artists.